Good morning everyone. Day five of the isolation along. I'm a bit out of breath. I just realised that I'd left all the other blocks in the house because I took them in to steam them. And then just as I was about to press live, I thought, I haven't bought the blocks. So I ran into the house, grabbed the blocks and I've run back here. So I'm a bit out of breath. Right, we're day five now. Day five, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you. A uh, bit of an odd Mother's Day, isn't it really? Um, shame we can't see our mums and you know, all that stuff. But I thought we'll still do, well, we're still gonna do this. We're doing this every day. Good morning, Lynn, lovely to see you. Um, just catch my breath. Right, so there was a typo in the cutting instructions for this block. Never, excuse me, never fear. If you have cut the pieces that I said to cut, we will use that size further along in the quilt. So those pieces, if you've used a nice uh, precious fabric or something you were saving, we'll use that size further along. So don't panic, okay? But the cutting instructions are as follows. 12 times three and a half inch squares in one color. Four times three and a half inch squares in your second color. Four times 6.5 by 3.5 inches in color three. And in color four, four 6.5 by 3.5 inches. Okay, so if you have cut out what I said in the post, idiot I am, don't worry, we'll use them somewhere else in the project. So if you've used something precious, we're not gonna waste it. So I'm sorry about that, but we're back on track now. Uh, good morning, Suzanne, good morning, mum. So today is the Dutchman's puzzle. Um, I love this block, actually. I think it's really beautiful. I'll show you what we've got so far, just to recap. So day one, Ohio Star. Day two, Ribbon Star. Good morning, Sandra. Day four, the Lemoyne Star. And day, did I just say day four? Day three, the Lemoyne Star. And day four, the Colorado Block. And so today is Dutchman's Puzzle. Um, obviously this is um, a free event. Share the video, uh, let other people know we're live. We're quite low on numbers for the live this morning, I'm guessing because it's Mother's Day. People have got other things to be doing. So, let's get on. You will need a pen if you're gonna mark your blocks like I'm gonna mark my blocks. Hi Lynn, hi Carol, morning Leslie. Um, don't forget, it's bingo tonight. I'm hoping my bingo machine that I ordered will arrive today. Bingo over on my page, Abigail, 7.30. If you want a card, just comment on the post and I'll send you a card easy piece right so my six by three and a half inches i'm going for you know my colors by now for this quilt but that's the one i've chosen hi gayla hi carol did i say hi carol i'll say it again if i didn't uh, then i'm going for this one now this color i've only in, used in one other block so i thought i'll bring that in hi karen Hi Susan, yeah, Mother's Day cancelled, I know, I feel the same way. Good morning, Christine. Uh, then for my centre um, point, if you will, I'm going for the hot pink because we're gonna have a nice chorus, we're gonna have a nice swirl in the centre. Um, if you remember, this is block two of the pinwheel series. So you've got a pinwheel in the centre. And then I'll go for my lilac. I'm gonna press these as usual before I start because you know you know how I treat my things <laughs> it's all a bit of a mess um, just gonna press these quickly so yes Dutchman's puzzle basically it's flying geese now there are a few ways you can put flying geese together um, you can do the no waste way if you youtube it or google it you can do that 
but we are doing this one which is the most simple way okay most simple way and the reason why we're doing that is because we've got you know we've got new stitches amongst us we don't want to put them off <laughs> right i'm just making sure i've got i've used the selvage on this one I need to recut that one So I just need to recut one block, one uh, rectangle, six and a half by three and a half. Grab my fabric. You know it's on the floor, don't you? <laughs> uh, oh, you're going for a walk on the beach. Um, you didn't get a cut out, well that's good. Morning Christy, morning Doreen, Sally, Lynn. Uh, right, so I'm just cutting myself one more lilac uh, flowers because I hadn't quite done that. I'd used the selvage. So bear with while I just cut that out. Well, I'm absolutely, I have to say I'm absolutely livid. I'm livid. I'll tell you why. Went to two, uh, three and a half inches. Went to Tesco yesterday. It's am out of the seven day. I'm at the end of the seven. I've gone out of the seven day now. And I said to my mum, I'll pick you up bits. What do you want? I couldn't get her anything. 6.5. 6.5 by 3.5. Um, couldn't get her anything. Nothing on the shelves. And we've got a Tesco extra. It's huge. Nothing. Right, I'm going to angle you down so we can, you know, you know the drill. Okay, can you see? Right, so because I want that swirl in the center and I want to have that hot pink with the purple next to it, I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna start with my purple, that's not my purple, that's my lilac. I'm going to start with my purple blocks, my purple rectangles. Okay, so I've got four of these. We're gonna do exactly the same for each four. So I'm just gonna put the others to a side. We're gonna take a hot pink. I'm just gonna double check that I'm, I'm doing that exactly where I want it to be. If I just move that. No, I want it on the left hand side, do I? Talk amongst yourselves while I just figure out which, which side I want this on. Not that one, right hand side. <laughs> Oh, gracious me. I tell you what, it's going to be one of those days. I'm just going to put my pink there so I can just position this so I can see if that's the one I want. If that's facing that way, I want that block there. Let's just make sure. Before I tell you, I'm just figuring it out. Right, yes, I do. Okay, so you want facing you, obviously this is mirror imaged. But face, for, for you looking down on your piece, on the right hand side is where you want to position your block. Okay, so you want your square, you want the corner lined up with the corner of your rectangle here. So that when we stitch and we turn that back, that triangle is on the right hand bottom corner. No, we don't want it that side. Why do I keep thinking it's that side? It's not, is it? It's this side. I want it this side. Get a grip, Abigail, get a grip. So it's the left-hand side. My sincere apologies. Left-hand side, you want it on the left-hand side. <laughs> so that when we stitch, it's like that. Left-hand side. So. For each one of these purple blocks, I'm going to put my pink one on the left-hand side. Right, get a grip, got it, left-hand side. What we do is for each one of these blocks, we're gonna draw a line from corner to corner of our square. That is your stitch line, okay? Not quarter an inch one side, not quarter an inch the other side, that's your stitch line. So that when we stitch that, and we fold it back, it's gonna sit beautifully on there. Hope you can see that. Okay, 
and then on the other side we're going to use one of our other the other color that we've cut we've cut because we've only cut two colors of squares this one that's going in the center so it's on the left hand side your left i know it's mirror imaged and then the lilac one wants to be on the right hand side but the first thing we're going to do is draw a line we're going to do that for each of the squares just draw a line from corner to corner so these are my hot pinks Do like this thing okay and then we're going to draw a line also on each of the lilac squares again corner to corner if you've got directional fabric fabric then just check that you're doing that the right way around so each one's got a line sandra you can only do simple well i'm feeling that way this morning i have to say I, I will confess I've been up since half past two this morning um, <laughs> I had some really really bad heartburn I do suffer with heartburn um, and I had some really bad heartburn so I've been up since half past two so I hope you'll this is a very wonky block so I hope that you'll uh, forgive me for any Right, first of all, I'm going to cut a new three and a half inch square because that was very not three and a half inch square. Just cut three and a half inches using my ruler my mum got me. We had to have a serious chat with our youngest this morning about that he can't play on the park anymore. It's very, very hard because we live opposite a park, okay? Literally, our, our front door, there's another one that's gone a bit astray. Our front door, driveway, park. So it's very hard for him to understand that he can't go on that park. And I have to say, there are children on the park, park playing with each other and while I you know I have no judgment you know I, I do as you see fit but I do think at this time we have to follow what we're being told I also think that my eyes have gone a bit dodgy because whatever I do I'm not making this one square so we're just going to go for it uh hi Chris um it is a lovely day uh, 6.5 6.5 what I've done hello what I've done in the discussion below this live that I posted the exact measurements again okay and also if you've joined you didn't hear me at the top of the hour, up top of the show the show <laughs> top of the live if you've cut those that if you've cut the sizes that I told you and it's precious fabric or it's fabric you were saving or anything like that don't worry i promise you we'll use that size in a block at some point during this isolation along they will not go to waste so i will, I will find a block that's got that size in it because i will not have you waste it okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in this one that we've already marked it's raining is it it's lovely here um hi jackie no you don't need to have seen the others that's fine right so uh you can pin if you want to but we're going to stitch from corner to corner okay corner to corner bring in the machine i've still got the luminous thread thread on from yesterday <laughs> not overly bothered about that i have to say right stitch Okay. Now, some people will now cut quarter of an inch away from that line on the left hand side. Get rid of that 
and fold over. I recommend you just cut the pink layer. Okay, just the pink excess and you keep the rectangle intact. Now I'd say that because that's your base. That's the exact size that we want. We haven't manipulated that in any way. So by cutting off just the excess of the pink, we've still got the exact shape we want. So I'm just gonna use my scissors. You can fold this over and use your rotary cutter if you like. These are a bit stiff. which I probably recommend doing because as you can see, my 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m. brain is not engaged. Right, now just finger press that back. Finger press, finger press, finger press. And that should fit neatly into that corner. I'm hoping you can see that. Uh, you're loving the lives, Eileen. Oh, brilliant. Um, it's bingo, the end of the show show. Yes, the end of the show show. <laughs> 7.30 tonight, bingo. Right, so now you're gonna take your lilac. So with every block that you're doing your center spiral, you need your one color and then second color. For the other one, you're using two lilacs. So that's why you've got two, you've got 12 in one color and you've got four in another color. So now we're taking this block this square lining up our corner to the top and to the bottom and you're going to have that it's going to overlap that bottom area there fine stitch corner to corner again okay corner to corner where's my foot pedal gone there it is Just make sure that that one you finger pressed is nice and secure. Corner to corner. Oopsies. Right, finger press that back. Okay, and then again, chop off the excess just of the square. So if you fold back the layers, you can use your ruler and you can cut off that excess but then you flip it back and you've still got the rectangle in place. And then if we finger press that back, it lines up beautifully, right? And where that fabric there crosses over, that's our seam allowance. So that's exactly how it should look when you're done. You've got an overlap of the one color over to the contrast color, but that's our seam allowance. That's what we want, okay? So that's that one done. I'll try and whiz through the next three of those. I'll place down my pinks. Pink and a pink. Making sure that obviously this is mirrored, as I said, um, this is my left hand side and my drawn line is going from left hand top to right hand bottom and you'll notice I haven't pressed anything yet which you probably know by now is against my religion <laughs> but I haven't because I haven't needed to a finger press is fine right so let's see if I can just whiz through these ones okay recommend doing them in stages like this rather than now going straight onto the lilac without trimming off that excess. Trim off the excess first because you're getting rid of some of that bulk. You've got no need for it so just get rid of it. And just stitch off, you can just stitch off and have a tail. If you want to, I've seen somebody, uh, she takes a scrap piece of fabric and she starts her stitch on the scrap piece and then lines up the piece 
after so that you haven't got any of that issue when your fabric can go into the grooves below i've not done that myself but i've seen i've seen that technique and then she also runs off onto another scrap piece right so that's those three uh getting our rotary cutter finger pressing each one back finger pressing and then folding it back so you've just got the square excess on the mat and doing quarter an inch so when you fold it back you've got that fold it back you've got your first uh, triangle so we'll do that again with this one and we're doing that if you've joined we're getting rid of the bulk but we're keeping the rectangle in place because that's your foundation that's your accurate size and again last one fold everything back finger press now we're going to add on those lilacs so making sure that you're now on the right hand side and that your drawn line is top right to bottom left line up so it should sit exactly in there. It's going to overlap the pink, normal, should be. Uh, a thread catcher, yes, exactly, a thread catcher. Okay. Okay, one, I'm just gonna chain piece these, I'll be honest with you. Um, because I've no need to take them off quite yet. So on to the next one. And then the final. Make sure everything's folded back. And finger pressed. Line that up. these apart. I'm going to get rid of those scissors because they're very stiff. Snip these apart. Finger press. Uh, goes together quite quickly. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you can take your time. Yeah, of course you can. I just get very conscious that um you might get bored so i just want to get show you the technique and then off you can go it says i've got two completed now put them in a pile trim off that square excess again now we're also having a bit of a quandary because i said Obviously, you're not allowed on the park anymore. Um, if there's no children on there, then we'll go and have a kickabout with the ball. But then I said, <laughs> then I said, if you could have something in the garden, you know, within reason, what would you like it to be? What would you have in the garden? Which they answered a swing. Now, I love a swing, don't get me wrong. But, um, oh, thanks, Mum. But I don't want them to ruin my grass. <laughs> And you know what they're going to do? They're going to push their feet along it, drag their feet along it. And it's brand new grass. It's only just been laid. <laughs> so now I'm thinking, oh, do I get them the swing? Do I sacrifice the grass? Do I really want to sacrifice the grass? 
Mm. Right, so now I'm moving on to colour number two of the 6.5 by 3.5. Um, moving on to those. So these are just two lilacs. So on this one, we have the hot, let go of one, the hot pink and lilac. Now this is just two lilacs, but same technique as before. We stitch one on first. Clear some space. Stitch one on first. Finger press and then we do the other one. And these are nice, it's, you know, six and a half inches by three and a half. That's a nice size rectangle. So it's something, it's quite a nice size to work with. Uh, it's not fiddly. You'll, you'll thank yourself for drawing that line as well. Just taking that minute to draw that line because it keeps everything exactly right. Third one. It does come together nice and fast. And of course, again, like yesterday, you can upsize this if you want to. Or you can downsize it, but you've got the technique down. Oh, Hazel, did you get my reply to your comment? It's bingo tonight, so you haven't missed it. And I've, I've left you a message on my post with a card. Let me know if you've seen it. left behind no man left behind that's the motto right snip these apart finger press them open each one and then we're going to trim off the excess again exactly the same as we did with the other uh, you can get mesh sheets but in high traffic areas allows the grass to grow through is that right now that's interesting that is interesting to me i'm gonna to have to investigate that because if that i can get something like that i'd be very keen because you know they do like a swing right so we've trimmed back that one again i'll run through it again in case you didn't see it so when you've got your triangle like so when you open it out, you stitch line, you want to trim off this excess only. Leave your rectangle because it's your foundation. It's the exact size you need to so leave that. Just trim off that other half of the square. So two. And just take your time because you might accidentally trim off the wrong bit. And that would be annoying. Three, four, like so. Um, uh, you only lose a little grass. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yes, you're right. You are right about memories. Yeah, they'll be saying when we were all quarantined, mum wouldn't even let us have a swing. <laughs> so I better get them a swing, hadn't I, really? Hey, hey, hey. I've seen some on Amazon. Right, uh, next block, again, same as we did before. Make sure it's the right hand side, right to corner you've drawn down to the left hand side, bottom corner. And we'll chain piece these together like we've done before. Next one. Um, 
You don't have a printer, so I used the ruler and drew a grid, writing the words in. Fantastic, Sandra. Brilliant. Um, oh, hold on. Hazel. Yes, I got the message about the bingo and I've copied out the card. Good. I'm pleased. Right. We're all in this together, Hazel. Remember, we're all in this together. And on that note of us all being in this together, if anyone wants to drop me a message, if you're feeling overwhelmed or if you're feeling just like you want someone to reply and have a little natter with, drop me a message, okay? Can't guarantee I'll reply straight away, because you know, three kids and that, but I will reply to you. Last one. Last one. We love you loved your swings in the garden yeah we did too we had a little park opposite our house when we were growing up we had a swing and a slide and we basically lived on it right so they're all our pieces done we'll just separate them and trim and then we're going to press them finally finally we're gonna press them <laughs> So opening out, make sure you're trimming off the right bit. Open up that square, tuck that rectangle piece back. One. Two. These colors just are making me really happy. And I'm still adding as many as I can find to the album. So if you've done a block and it's not in the album, post it in the discussion and then I'll screen capture it and I'll put it in the album. And if you don't know what I'm talking about album, I'll see if I can tag it. Uh, yeah, happy Mother's Day, everyone. Happy Mother's Day. Whatever guys that may be. Happy Mother's Day to you all. Right, press, 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 yes. Happy times, happy times. Pressing, yes. Oh. Right. So just press them open. Just press along your seams. Oh, oh yes, see that makes me happy. Oh, that does make me happy. That's a bit sad, isn't it? <laughs> So you're going to end up with those and don't forget that um, where it crosses over that's meant to be there because that's your seam that's your seam allowance okay press 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 this one yeah so I'll repeat again bingo 7 30 tonight I have ordered a bingo machine <laughs> everyone I thought if we're gonna do it let's do it right so I ordered a little bingo machine it reckons it's gonna be here hold on so you can see me today uh, so <laughs> fingers crossed if not um, we'll, uh, we'll carry on doing the bingo you keep losing signal oh I hope you've still got me I do give everyone that be in the house strict instructions to get off the internet when I'm on my lives with my friends. Let's have a look. Uh, keep going. All right. Let me know. Right, so now we've got our blocks. We've got our flying geese, which is what they're called. Now we're going to lay them out. Uh, too many people using that. Okay. 
Now, okay, so, hold on. Oh, hello. Uh, let me know if you want to stop, if you want me to stop the stream and I'll start the stream again. Uh, that might be better. Let me know. It'll take me a couple of minutes because it has to download this one first and then start up again. So just let me know. Maybe you can't let me know because you're, because uh, <laughs> I'm frozen. Stick with it, everyone. Stick with it, Hazel. Okay, I'll do as I'm told. Right, here we are. So we've got our flying geese. We're going to put them together in pairs. Uh, each pair is going to be the same. So you're going to start with the, the rectangle that's got the two different colours. And that's going to be paired with your other rectangle. Okay, snip off my threads. So you're gonna make four of these identical, okay? So let's do that. Uh, you're going to place them right sides together so when you flip it over, you've got your block. Little blocks look lovely, good. Right, so I'm gonna stitch that now. Stitch all four of those exactly the same. Bring the machine right sides together you got a fair amount of fabric here don't forget so just take your time your machine might not like it if you put your foot down so to speak Right, let's open this out. Okay, can you see that? Four of those. One. Next one. Make sure you're doing it the right way. Right sides together. And because you've got those rectangles still in place, you know exactly where you need to stitch. You've got a perfect shape that you haven't interfered with in any way. I've unthreaded my machine. It was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time. So it looks like we're okay on this stream now. Yep, yeah, brilliant. Thanks for bearing with. Okay. Oops. I'll tell you what I think is funny is the um, quiz, the pub quiz, that's got more views than yesterday's stitch along. <laughs> Which I find very amusing because I didn't put any effort into that at all. <laughs> Threaded my machine and everything is lined up properly. Small adjustment there. Okay, that's number two. Can you see? And then you see we've had the overlap here that's now hidden in your seam. You've got perfect points. Hopefully you can see that. Um, again, that's not down to skill. I have to say that's not down to skill. If I can do it, you definitely can do it. It's just how you're placing those squares on. Third. one before we join them all together and we're going to join two then two and then all four together uh, 
comes and goes, Hazel. It's gone okay now. Who's given Susan an angry face? Don't give Susan an angry face. No angry faces allowed in here. Right, now we're gonna press these open. So we've got four of these now. Bring in this. Right, let me know if you can see and hear me. Comment if you can see and hear me, if you wouldn't mind, please. That would be very kind. Oh, Mum's sending me lots of love hearts. Okay, last one. If you're using a really thin fabric over your pattern rectangle, there's a chance that you might see it through. You can, when you trim off your square, you can trim off that backing if you want to. Oh, well done. Well done, Hazel. Well done. Um, you can trim off the backing if you want to. Okay, but I just find keeping that stable. <laughs> Mum's overkilling the love hearts. Right, so now you've got four of those exactly the same. So you're going to place one down facing, where if you're looking at it facing up, you're going to place your second one facing to the right and then you're going to join them together right sides together every single time i say right sides together i want to burst out into song i shall refrain from doing that because your poor ears you don't want that especially on mother's day no one asked for that and no, we won't be having a sing-along in future. <laughs> My rendition of Dock of the Bay, whatever that song's called. No. Definitely not. Uh, now I want to sing that one, Mum. Oh. Right, so now we, you've got this, okay? So repeat that with the other two. You want to make sure you've got, you're now facing, when you're looking at it, one's facing to the left and one's facing to you down. Right sides together. be bobbin roulette on the last stitch guys and gals it's going to be bobbin roulette uh where do we stitch here press open what's that sound hold on bear with that might be a delivery oh Everyone, steady on. There's a delivery van here. It might be the bingo machine. Hold on. I'm looking. He's not come out of his van yet. Hopefully he's finding the bingo machine. Oh no, he's driving away. Is he driving away? Right, he's gone. He's gone, so he might have knocked on the door. What did I say? 
facing up. What did I say? <laughs> I lost the plot. I've been up since 2.30. I don't know what I said. What did I say? Right, enough of that. I'm gonna trim off my thread so that when I put the two pieces together, I don't have any sticking up between the seams. Cause that's just annoying. Okay. Repeat that on the other one. Facing down. What did I say? Fa oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about now. I've lost it. <laughs> I've lost the plot. Okie dokie. So you've now got this one. You've now got this one. You're going to take the top one over to the bottom one line up your seams pin it if you want and then stitch that last seam bobbin roulette everyone i think i can do it i think i can do it uh suzanne you're watching an ironing cut up my pretty clear cases <laughs> i must admit i do look at david's shirt sometimes i think oh that would be a nice uh, something Right, so everything is quarter of an inch, remember? I'm just lining up my centre seams. Oh, I've got a little catch there. Quarter thread. Just snip that off. Carry on. Keep calm and carry on. it out oh for crying out loud oh it's beautiful beautiful again remember what I said we're gonna make sure we give these a proper press before we put them all together so um, I recommend just using your, your steam iron bit of a catch there what have I done there oh it's because I've it's my own fault it's my own fault I'm not looking what I'm pressing but what you should end up with is nested seams so let's just press that again I will take it to my uh mine okay. right turn my iron off let's bring you up hello again <laughs> okay and your final block will look like this so you've got that center piece and it looks like pinwheels now doesn't it so it doesn't look like flying geese anymore. It doesn't look really like a Dutchman's puzzle anymore. It looks like a pinwheel. So that goes beautifully with the other pinwheel. Obviously remember about the sizes, we've spoken about that. Uh, so that's, it's lovely, isn't it? Really lovely book, uh, block. So I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, really good, really nice. So let's recap. That's our fifth block, is it? No, fourth, fifth. 
fifth block. So what I'll do is I'll just actually, I'll just put that next to the first block we did so you can have a look what they look like together. Let's pin them into my mat. Not that it bears any relevance really, but you can sort of see the theme. Yeah, really pleased with that one. Looks really nice. Um, I'll take a picture of it and I'll upload it to the album. If you uh, make them, don't forget to upload them to the album. So recap again. I, every single video is staying on this event page. So if you haven't watched any, you haven't caught up with any, don't even worry, you've got bags of time forever. Um, or they're on my, they will go onto my YouTube channel. So days one to four are on there at the minute and they stay on there forever. So you can do them whenever. So Ohio was day one. Ribbon Star day two. Le Moyne Star day three. Colorado block day four. And then you've got the Dutchman's Puzzle day five. You will notice if you're new, there's different sizes there. Two different sizes and that's fine. It's meant to be <laughs> trust in the process. Right, okay, that's me done, guys and gals. Bingo tonight. Don't forget bingo tonight just for fun. If you get a line, shout bingo first. You have to type bingo, actually, because I won't hear you if you shout it. Uh, type bingo first, you get bragging rights. And then if you get the whole set, the whole full house, uh, you get ultimate bragging rights. So that post is on my page. You don't have to sign up to like my page. There is no sign up to anything. Just comment on the post about the bingo and I'll send you a bingo card print it off at home or just copy it down using pen and paper and then tonight hopefully that was my bingo machine if it is I'll, I'll post a picture of it uh, it's numbers but what I'm going to do is write down a, a list and for every number we've got a corresponding word that's to do with stitching um, so tonight 7 30 cut off for card requests is six o'clock so if you want to play bingo tonight comment before six and I'll send you your card so you've got enough time to write it all out so 7 30 live in my kitchen just for giggles uh, thanks for watching today same time again tomorrow 11 o'clock then the block will be released at before six o'clock on the event as per usual if you've missed out on any of the sizes they are all down at the bottom through the discussion that all the sizes are there for you okay Thanks for joining me. Happy Mother's Day to you all. Again, lovely to spend time with you. Love to chat. Love the interaction. Great stuff. Okay, I've witted on. Bye.